everyone, welcome to my very my very first Sims 3 video. Um, if I'm a little nervous, that's because I'm really new to this, so bear with me. <laughs> um, I thought I'd start making these videos because I love seeing them all over YouTube, so I hope you guys enjoy them. <laughs> um, for my very first playthrough, I figured the Lepacy Challenge would be a good one to do because it focuses on exploring content that you've never messed with before and it just looks really fun. So the Lepacy challenge is basically like a normal legacy except you... I'll just read off a little blurb. A Lepacy is a Sims 3 legacy style challenge focusing heavily on the content and features of each expansion pack. It is so easy to fall into a rut while playing and miss out on what each individual expansion pack has to offer. The Lepacy dares you to explore all the things you have igno ignored. Which sounds pretty good to me. This sounds like a challenge for me. And the primary goal of each generation is to fulfill a lifetime wish you haven't done before. So basically, you're playing like a, n a normal legacy, except using an expansion pack for each. And I'm not going to be following the rules entirely. Like, it says not to use custom content, and I just can't, I can't do that. But um, I'm also not uninstalling each pack because I don't have the I don't have the patience to do that and I like playing with all the stuff and I I just want to play with the features of every pack like I'm gonna be focusing each generation on their respective pack but I'm not gonna take them all out and I'm not also st I'm also not starting with the base game I'm gonna start with um I'm gonna do the expansion packs, I guess, out of order. I'm just gonna go with the flow and whatever seems right. And I decided to start with the expansion pack that I've neglected probably the most, which is Showtime. I have barely touched anything- any- <clears throat> Oh, I got something in my throat, sorry. I have barely touched anything from Showtime, so I thought it'd be a good pack to start off with. So... And I do like to build stories around them, but again, I'm not- I'm a new Let's Player and I'm a little shy, so bear with me. So, since it is showtime, I was debating on whether to use a custom world or, um, or use the EA world, and I did decide to use Starlight Shores, and I'm not a fan of the EA worlds, but it's really nice, and I chose to do that because I don't really play the EA worlds very much, and I wanted something new. But, yeah, we're surrounded by mountains and tacky wallpaper. <laughs> but, I'll intro guy introduce you guys to our founder. Her name is Haley Rosa, and, um, she doesn't have parents, she's an orphan. So, I almost thought about making her a singer because she looks like someone who would be a singer, but when I did play with Showtime before, I've done the singers before, and I just want to do something new. So, she's going to be an acrobat. <clears throat> but anyway, here are her traits. Um, I don't really have a backstory for her. I'm going to just go with Standard Orphan who moved to a big city to do something with her life, which, okay, that's... <laughs> that's respectable. Um, she's a Scorpio, and her traits are almost all from the Showtime back. Natural born performer, which I'm guessing she's always had an affinity for performing, and that would be really cool, and it's also from Showtime. She's excitable and a daredevil, because the daredevil, I imagine you'd have to be kind of a daredevil to be involved as an acrobat, because it's not a standard career path I would imagine anyone would take unless they weren't afraid of heights. So I thought that was really fitting. Um, Social Butterfly also came with Showtime and I do imagine her as someone who talks a lot and is just super friendly. Um, excitable. I also imagine her as someone who gets excited about things. <laughs> and good sense of humor. I figured that would also make sense because as a performer you have to captivate your audience and even be funny. So I thought that'd just be really cool. So those are her traits. Her favorites are lilac, pancakes, and pop music. And she's a young adult. And I did pick the starter house in Starlight Shores for her to move into. It's really nice actually. It's got two bedrooms. One of them's a really good size. Um... 
of digging the color scheme in this ba bedroom and this bathroom. I'm not sure if what we'll do with this bedroom yet. Maybe it'll be a kid's bedroom unless we move somewhere nicer. I don't know. I do want to eventually change this room because this tacky green wallpaper, I do not like it. But yeah, that's where we're at so far. And she already has her first wish to join the acrobat career, which she popped right up. Oh, that's also her lifetime wish is to be a master acrobat, which again, reach up to end of the acrobat career. So that's what we're going to hope to achieve before the next generation of Sims. And yeah, with that, we'll get right into it. So I load up this game and the first thing I notice is that right down the street, oh, I accidentally tabbed out of the game. Oops. <laughs> off to off to a great start. Right down the street, there's this tattoo artist just chilling by our house. And uh I I I think I want her to get a tattoo. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, but not right now. But I think we're going to do this join the acrobat career. I'm just not sure where we going to do that? The the theater maybe? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where we would go to have her sign up for that. Maybe I have to look at- this is like how little I play with Showtime stuff. City Hall? Okay, I don't see any- anything about that. I think we have to go to a stadium? Is this a stadium? No, that's the sports thing. Or is it a show? It's called a show venue, I think. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm gonna spend all the time just looking for this. Okay, so I looked it up and you actually have to go to the park. Um, yeah, it's not here. Um, and I'm- okay, festival grounds? You have to go to the park and call over a proprietor? I'm gonna have her come here, and I'm gonna keep looking in the map to see. I mean, I I don't know where else it would be. That's the creepy stone. Like, I really do not know where else we could do it. That's like the only huge park. So uh, I guess we'll see. Let's drive on over. I really like her. I put a lot of time on her for you guys, and I actually went through all our outfits and picked up, picked out a lot of them. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of people here. We're not going to university, not this generation. There is a lot of people here. I like literally never play this world, so it's cool to see all the NPCs that show up. And we're Edward Gooder mustache oh who's that oh here she is here she is the proprietor um that's a cool haircut i guess um do i have to join this way i mean i guess i'll find out are you the talent oh they're attracted to each other okay here it is asked to join career join acrobat career off to a great start didn't take me that long to figure out. She's got some knockers. <laughs> some huge badonkers. She's like into us. I mean, I guess without the haircut and the eyebrows, she would be pretty cute. She's really cute. But yeah, um, with my- I have several mods, and I do have a same-sex pregnancy mod. So we could get a wife if we wanted to, or a husband. Oh, a stage name. I- I didn't- I didn't think about this. What's a good stage name for an acrobat? I guess that's- I guess- oh man. Hmm. I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually looked around and I didn't- I'm really bad at names. Like, it took me forever to even pick her name, but I actually did find one that I liked by googling and we can, it can always be changed but I think Mademoiselle Ma <laughs> I'm already butchering this Mademoiselle that's really freaking cute for a stage name 
I really like it and we can always change it later if you guys have any ideas for things to change it to let me know in the comments but I just think that's a really cute stage name a world-class acrobat perform performs all types of physical feats learning to mind he oh we're gonna start as a mime oh yeah I remember now that's also why I gave her the good sense of humor trait because I feel like it'd come in handy for miming and stuff but anyway Learning to mime teaches balance and body control. It's also a great way to attract the crowd and earn simoleons. We now make 275 simoleons per week. Okay, cool. So, we're a mime now. Acrobat, mime. So we can practice all this stuff now. I gotta see. Um, walking in the wind, I'm really curious to see. Oh, what is this? Talk about new job. Learn handy... That's... How did she do that? Did she fail? Oh, she hit her head or something. Oh my god. This is so cool. I've never done this before. Human statue? Oh, she's embarrassed. Public failure. Oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> she's adorable. I love her. Oh, the Sims University mascot is here. It's doing that stuff. Are people watching? That's like crazy. I'm just trying to practice. Oh. Um, I'm just gonna delete the portal. Wherever it shows up. Because we're gonna do that another time, but we're not gonna do it this time. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna testing cheats enabled. True. I'm gonna delete that because I don't want to sell it. I will sell this, because it's only 20 simoleons. But I do not want to sell it, because the big thing, because that's a lot of money. Who's talking to me? Make silly face? Girl, we gotta get our mime career together. <laughs> Why are we making random silly faces? Oh, you in my way. <laughs> Might as well do it. What is that? I, I just saw that. It's a mermaid. Oh, she's so cute. I didn't know there was a little mermaid here. She's adorable. Oh, she wants to become friends with the proprietor and talk to her. I think she's already into her. Alright, we'll talk. Um, Let's ask her a sign. Let's just ask her about like everything. <laughs> get to know. We're gonna be very invasive. Ask if she's single, ask about age, ask about- I already asked her about that. Oops. Gender preference, ask about all my- we're just gonna be so invasive. And then we'll give her some- we'll make her watch us eat dirt. <laughs> uh, I think she could be a good friend. Um, oh, she's an Aries. I'm an Aries too. Okay, I just really went in and I fixed her hair. I gave her another hair that was from Showtime and I changed her brows. And she actually is really cute. Her cheeks were so full and so chubby. But yeah, I did that because it was driving me crazy. I just gave her another hair from Showtime. <laughs> so that uh, werewolf thing she got on. Yeah, we knew she was a proprietor, but I just wanted to get them relationship boost. I'm gonna get rid of those wants. I'm just gonna get to know her. And I'm gonna look around a little more. The little mermaid over there is so adorable. This girl over here is really cute. What are you reading? For the love of nectar. Okay. She's single. Um, he's watching her creepily from a distance. That is, that's kind of weird. What kind of fish are in this pond? Is that the black goldfish? We are exactly the same age, wild. I see some fish jumping up from here. This is a cute little place. Ooh. You're kind of handsome too. I want a person just standing there. Oh my god, his video games are so loud. Oh, we can pick these flowers. They're worth a lot sometimes. Oh, we both graduated from public school. I like his peril, so. Oh, she didn't like me eating dirt. Oh, I guess she did. Go pick that flower. 
Oh, she wants to talk about our new job, so... I guess we could do that. Is that flower worth anything? Not really, but I'll still sell it. Are there any more flowers? That's a good way to get money um, really fast. You can just sell the flower. Oh, there's fruit trees over here, too. We should pick those. Um, she doesn't look like she's having a good... <gasps> that person just slapped the other person. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is a fight. I gotta watch this. They're fighting! <laughs> They're fighting about baby bottles. <gasps> oh my god! Only just moved in here a day ago and there's already... <laughs> I like how she's just picking the flower in the background while this poor man gets his ass beat. Oh, they're having a picnic over here. I'm gonna... Um... I'm gonna grab a plate of that. Yeah. She's like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I guess Starlight Shores is not a very good area. It's probably trashy. Let's get to know these people. Oh, okay. That's cool. I just stand up as soon as I sit down. Rude. Eating burgers with strangers. The guy who beat that other guy's ass is coming over here. <laughs> Dang, that, that was rough. Oh, and then this guy comes over here and throws another picnic. How many picnics did he bring? I'm gonna harvest these fruits because maybe they can sell for a lot. And this is cool. This is like a golf thing over here. Oh, she wants to cool down. It is summer in the game. Oh, it's bananas. Okay. It's cool. To, it's good to know that there's banana trees over here. Oh, what's over there? I didn't even see what was over there. There's even more flowers here, too. I think those are cabbages. Or watermelons? I don't know. They look like cabbages. Pick all these. Okay, we don't need to get that many things. Okay, they, they were lettuces. What is this? It's all about me. Your sim is the center of attention. Oh, because she's a social butterfly. Um... These banana- Whoa, those flowers that she picked are worth $600. Amazing. I told you guys this was a good way to get money. Um, if the per- Okay, she's still over here. Well, I'm gonna pick these flowers, these other flowers first. I'm gonna talk to her more because she really wants to be friends with her. And it's good to have, um... It's good to have new friends where you are. Just move down. Tell a story. Yeah, she just really wants a new friend. So I'm gonna let her do that. Pick the other flower. This one's worth 400 That's crazy. This one's 200 This one's $15. So now we got a little more money. Oh my god! We totally stole that little girl's seat. We're like, too bad, too slow. God, we're jerks. And we just stand up. We're so mean. Shakabra. Uh, high five. I'll just keep getting to know her, I guess. Give her. You can give her a banana as a gift. Let's see if she likes that. <laughs> It is just not Steve's day today. Um, as far as the parts go, I'm gonna play for pretty much as long as I want to go. And I, so I will record into the next few parts. She's like, she, she gave it back. She didn't like the banana. Oh, she doesn't know as well enough. That's why. All right, we'll apologize for that. And then we'll try to give her the banana. <laughs> Give her some of that banana. Oh, she didn't. You can't apologize no more. Oh, I like her dress. Sonako Lee. It reminds me of Lilo from Lilo and Stitch. I think. Okay, no, she. Okay, I was a little worried she'd be mad at us for, because we didn't get the chance to apologize, but. It's good. It's all good. 
Uh, listen. Okay. I'm gonna cancel out my other tabs. Maybe that'll help with the choppiness. Okay. Oh, there's another flower that cropped up. I will just pick them as long as they come up. And she has this wish anyways. I'll make silly faces at her until she's our friend. And I do want to get lifetime wish points because they have this reward that actually benefits um, her job. Where is it? There's two of them. I'm trying to find it. Where is it? I totally for forget what it's called. I do want to show you guys though. There's one that makes them like a really good performer. That, this one. That was deliberate. Turn a stumble into a well-planned stride and a cracked voice into an operatic bellow. The audience is less likely to notice any mistakes that you may make while performing on stage. And there's another one that's also really good and it turns them into a good performer. And I don't know where that one is, but I want to get that one too. Yeah. And that'll- oh, it, oh, I didn't know if that was it, but we should get both of those. Even more flowers. Pick Azalea. And... That's really pretty, actually. Yeah, I picked that one. I really like how she came out. This is so pretty. This is a really nice, um, little park area. Oh, This is kind of nice! I would- I would sit there and watch, um, festivals. I mean, like, why not? Oh, listen, okay. I think we are going to head home soon because she has to pee really bad. And I do want to start getting her athletic skill up, so maybe we'll go to the gym tomorrow. What's her gigs? Oh, we don't have any gigs yet. Oh, we still have to perform for tips, improve athletic skill, and get gigs. Okay. Oh, we made friends. Cool. Make silly. What's this? Mime conversation with self. I'm going to try that. Maybe that'll get her some experience. Oh, that's very animated. But I guess that's part- she doesn't look impressed. <laughs> She's like, my friend's very weird. She didn't like it. I guess we're not a very funny mime. We're just gonna apologize. Oh. You can wait to pee. You know, we're just gonna go home. We're gonna have to practice on our miming skills. <laughs> Humble beginnings. Um, another wish was filled. I, I don't know what kind that was, because I wasn't paying attention. Um, why don't you pee? Oh, crappy toilet. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put this stuff in the fridge, because we could use it. And I do wonder if... How do we practice? I guess this is how you practice. Just use those interactions. Oh my god. This is amazing. She's pretty cute. Oh my god. She's actually really good for a beginner. Oh, she got out of the box. <laughs> Alright, what else can we do? I'm gonna t put the walls down because... Or, okay, that's fine. Um... Let's try pulling a rope. I haven't seen that one yet. Pulling a fake rope, all the classic tricks. <laughs> I wonder if when she does it, she's gonna get in the little mime costume. I think we'll do that tomorrow, actually. 
in game at least. I don't know if this like increases her skill. Um, now that we have some money actually from <laughs> very expressive, now that we have some money from selling stuff, I want to buy um a workout thing if we can afford it. Because then she can just do it on her own without having to go to the gym. We can buy a treadmill. It's kind of a lot of money, but it is, we can't afford it. All right, I'll buy it. And we do have space for it if she moves out of the way first. All right, hold on. Go here. Oh, she's tired though. Well, we can at least get it to level one before she goes to bed. Yep, we can fit it right here. And do an extreme workout really quick. I, She should be able to get it to level one before she has to go to bed. It is increasing really fast. Buy a washing machine, not happening. All right, cool. Level one. So I'm gonna have her shower, take a shower with Flair. Um, shower, and then I wanna get her cooking skill up because I don't want her to burn the house down because Sims seem to not be able to go two seconds without burning the houses down. So just gonna make something like salad. Yeah, she is so tired. Remember in Sims 2 when they could fall asleep in their food if they were too tired? Right, something safe that doesn't burn the house down and it's also her favorite food, I think. No, I made it pancakes. Well, still. Good. Alright. Now go to bed. I'll take care of the dish this time. Thankfully, her job is open hours, so she doesn't have to worry. Oh, my NRAS is, um... I think it's my overwatch that's turning things off. It speeds up the game. She does want to go to a for a jog, so we'll do that tomorrow, but I am going to end this part here um, a little early. The next one will be a little longer, and I will record into the next part, so the second video will be up soon, so thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. It's appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye!